Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Opel Corsa facelift 2024 version and in this video we will do the test drive. We will take the car on the road to see how it's handling and I will give you all the feedback and information about driving. If you want to see the full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, space, everything about the car, you will find out in a separate video where I have the full review video so check that out. Also before we start I have to tell you that this is the GS version version it's kind of the middle range version it looks really nice it comes with a new design that we will talk about and it looks really cool also the car come with 16 inch rims those are the tires ventilated brake discs on the front and on the rear the car come with brake discs normal brake discs let's start because it's raining this is the key the normal key you can lock and unlock the car of course with the key it comes with electric folding mirrors also a night LED light down there but more about that we will talk later I love those seats, but more about that, let's go inside. We will talk in the review video. Also, it comes with aluminum pedals. I love those pedals. Peugeot use it also on their cars and a lot of function, a lot of things inside this Corsa come from Peugeot group because it's in Stellantis group they share a lot of technology and a lot of elements and I like that very much what I like the most it's also that it comes with an armrest in leather so you can adjust it like that it's super useful also down here some cup holders some storage space then you have here different driving modes let me start here's the start engine button let me start the engine and let me show you from here you have three different driving modes echo normal and sport mode we will drive in all different driving modes every time you change the driving mode even the color in the front will change of the screen digital screen in the front I love the screen and you can customize it very simple from here from the left stalk so you can go in different uh, settings also we will reset the consumption on the trip no let me go back driving dials computer and then computer trip one this trip one we will reset the trip one and we will see what kind of consumption we can get uh, this is really interesting the car comes also with heated steering wheel and I notice it works really good and really useful in the winter like now also here you have physical button for climatic system I will turn them on because I notice it's already foggy uh, on the windows so you can see right now it's quite rain it's, it's not such a good weather outside let me go a little bit lower I want to give you some information about the car and then we will start driving but first of all this guy want to park here so we have to go a little bit far away I like the fact that you can drive the car incredible easy it drives incredible incredible easy and you can see you have shift by wire transmission it comes with an automatic transmission 8 speed uh, and other than that look at the resolution of the, the reverse camera it's incredible the resolution I think it's one of the best resolution out there I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's incredible incredible uh, how good the resolution and the camera and the active lines are and you can map up the ground a little bit there and you can see also a little bit wider super nice uh, resolution on the reverse camera here is the parking button you have the M from manual you can change the gears manually if you want to have some fun with the car and you can change from those pedals plus and minus so you can do that as well you have this option to change the gears manually you have an electronic handbrake down here from here you change different driving modes I show you before here is the lane assist you can activate and deactivate it and then you have also the start stop engine button some storage space climatic system everything it's easy to reach out around here and I like that very very much we will talk about that also in a full review video the steering wheel it's fantastic I mean in this GS version the, the quality the size and the grip it's really nice leather steering wheel and it's heated everywhere even on the upper side even here on the side and down here is not heated but otherwise everywhere so it's super warm and nice in the in the winter now if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage guys i will leave the link in the description also on the screen if you want to see the car test drive the car and you are in switzerland check them out super nice people and the great part is that here at Gallicar Garage in Arau, they already have a discount of 2,100 francs. So usually the price of this car should be 30,090 francs, but it is 27,990 francs discount and it's a brand new car. 
actually it has six kilometers it's incredible how they already have a super good discount the basis price without the option is 27,000 but with the option it comes at 27,990 and it comes with this infotainment meet with navigation and also the color 800 but we will talk about that in the review video consumption around 5.6 liter we will test it to see if it's real 126 grams 101 horsepower 1325 kilograms is the weight of the car and i want to give you a little bit more technical data it comes with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive system 101 horsepower 205 newton meters 309 liters the space in the trunk but we will talk about that in the review video eight speed automatic transmission it comes also with a manual six speed transmission that you can get it but this one is with automatic transmission 192 km per hour is the top speed zero to 110.8 seconds the tank capacity 44 liter and the turning circle 10.7 meters now let's drive the car guys and i give you more information as we go so first of all i have to say that the climatic system and the heating on the steering wheel work super fine also let me reset one more time the consumption because in the end we will get even a bigger consumption so let's go back to trip one press it hold it and yeah it should be reset right now so we will go in drive just like that simple as that and just drive it turn the signal the seats are also super comfortable uh, on this GS version so nothing to complain about the the seats are really really good now here these guys walk on the middle of the street so that means the car it's pretty silent the engine it's quite quite silent it's a petrol Ten engine one, and two. I also noticed that that it's pretty silent inside the cabin so you you barely hear any vibration or uh, the engine it's 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 super silent it's super super smooth and nice the steering it's not crazy crazy uh, soft or very assisted like we find on uh, Peugeot 208 the brother I should say the bigger brother because uh, I feel like somehow um, even if it's in the same group Stellantis group Peugeot and uh, Opel I think somehow Peugeot have a little bit better quality uh, on the interior or on different items where here I think it's a better price you know with a lot of elements and a lot of same technology actually the engine the transmission and all that stuff are practically the same even the platform uh, from what I remember is the right same so you kind of have the same technology and elements like you have on Peugeot with a better price on uh, Opel and to be honest I like it I mean the visibility outside it's great you have a great visibility outside big uh, windows here in the mirrors you have good visibility and also on the side of the mirrors you have electric adjustable mirrors heated wind uh, steering wheel you have also heated seats in the front and also the climatic system very easy to to use still have physical button still have easy meters, controls here right. on the on the multimedia so it's pretty easy to to use it now i'm really curious about the consumption first of all we drive in eco mode and then we will change also different driving modes to see how it handles also in uh, other conditions the brakes and the pedal feel right. feel really good they are the same as Peugeot use it and I know they are super super good and they are very smooth very good the steering is not super assisted as I was expected for a small car like city car but it's pretty good I mean for my taste it's it's perfect the way it is but for some people probably they expect to be a little bit more stiffer it's relatively fine but you still have to turn it a little bit when you take big curves otherwise I like the fact that it's pretty silent inside the cabin uh, over the bumps it feels really comfortable I like that so 
until now it feels pretty good surprisingly good so overall it feels a very well built car yeah also the engine super silent I like that comfort on the seats great I like it I like the new multimedia system the, the, the screen is bright the cockpit is bright and you have a lot of information right there in the front you can change to see even the navigation if you want to change it in the front there so you can go very simple to navigation you just press it and right now you have the navigation all over on the cockpit right After there here you can see a lot of information right. of course navigation and you can slide but we will talk about that in another video the car can read the traffic speed limit it has a camera up there has all the sensors and the technology as you can expect in a in a new 2023 24 uh, car it comes also with uh, fully Time led lights. lights outside but about that we will talk in another video now you see even on those stones street it, it it feels good now we can go in sport mode to see how it's handling in sport mode the steering it's the same on the curve it stays good now what i notice right here on this curve is that the a pillar it's a little bit bigger i mean you have a little bit of blind spot in this area in this corner here that's happening in many cars but that's something to keep in mind here depend also how you adjust your seats and your view you have to keep in mind that probably there will be a little bit of uh, blind spot now the brakes the acceleration feel fine oh yeah yeah it's pretty nimble i like it i mean it has enough power for a 1.2 liter three cylinder in line it feels pretty good 100 horsepower it stays pretty good in curves it's pulled the power pretty nice super nice I think at speeds up to 120 km per hour will be just fine. You have enough power, you can go uphill, downhill, it feels really, really stable and quite good. Yeah, I didn't expect to be that good, but it's it's a pretty good car. I like it. I really like it and I like the armrest that it's adjustable. You can extend it like that and I have my arm here. Quite nice car to drive. And it's pretty silent, surprisingly, surprisingly silent. Pretty comfortable, pretty good condition, uh, comfort and uh, position here at driving. Also good visibility outside, around the windows can stop also the climatic system a little bit it's quite warm and also the steering wheel it comes also with cruise control you can set it up from here you can actually set it up from here cruise control you can set it like limited just like that and then you just set it how it is I think it's ah here on the right side cruise control and you set it and it should come on how you cruise control pose why it's on pose down here limiter pose now I don't know I don't know how to set it up should say here set the ah uh, Uh-huh, now, 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 now it's working. And you can set up the cruise control. You have also those lane assist that are on right now. And you can set the speed, for example, to, to 50. And then the car will just hold the 50, the speed, and it will kind of accelerate and brake depending what the car in front will do. The lane assist, I'm not sure if the car come with lane assist. It didn't seems to come with. It comes with a, yeah, 
I don't know. It comes with lane assist, but I'm not sure if this lane assist is just a warning or it just hold you between the lanes like a, like a proper autopilot. I have to test it also on the highway a little bit to see that. You know, because once you set up cruise control up active, two hundred meters. Yeah, Cross I think the roundabout. It, it comes exit. only with uh, it comes only with cruise control. So right now the car will will hold the speed, and I press the brake Cross and the it disengage. Second exit. Now also let's turn around here. The turning circle. It's pretty good, 10.7 meter, mm, it's okay. For a small car, I expect a little bit better. Go so also when you go in roundabout exit. and you turn around the, the steering, it's a little bit um, heavier, I After should say. Meters, but that gives possible. you, that gives you a little bit of sporty feeling, you know? So if you like that, a little bit of sporty you feeling. Your destination at 12 you will like the car. Um, at higher speed in curves, it stays very good. That that allow the car to stay better on handlings and also have a better steering uh, when you drive sportier. And that's nice. I like that. I told you in the beginning. I like more like this. You see, when you go left and right, it doesn't feel like a boat. It feels like Turn it stays pretty pretty good on the road. So that's something that I like very much. It's pretty pretty stable. It's silent inside the cabin. Turn <laughs> Let me around turn on when the... possible. It's it's pretty silent inside in the cabin. I like that. It's quite comfortable. And I'm surprised how good the steering in terms of handlings are and also in the same time pretty good suspensions. So from this point of view, it's nice. It's nice. So that's why I think they want to offer different things for different people. So if you go to drive Peugeot 208 will be the steering wheel softer and easier to turn and stuff like that. But if you go to this Corsa, for example, and you're driving the car, you will feel a little bit more sportier. The steering will be a little bit more heavier. The handlings will be a little bit better, like in terms of After 500 meters, in terms of the way right, it stays at low speeds on the ground. I like the car. I, I definitely like it. That's why I tell you guys always when you want to buy a car, just go and test drive the cars because for some people, this Opel Corsa might be the, the best car and for some people maybe Turn Peugeot right. 208 will be the better possible. choice. So you have to see and test the cars Turn but right now we are in, in sport mode and left. you can see right here, there's nobody behind but if you want to accelerate for example. You will arrive at your destination nice. at 1229. Yeah, and also the transmission is pretty good. I like also right. the, the transmission also. It's it's quite good. I love this transmission. They share it with Peugeot. Peugeot use it on many cars. And also now Opel use it on almost all the cars. And it's a very good transmission, this eight-speed transmission. It's great. Now here we have some curves and the car it stays pretty good on the curves. I like it. Now let's see the consumption guys. You see how I drive until now. I'm really curious to see also the computer here and to see the consumptions. On the trip two I reset it. Yeah, trip two was or no, we was trip one. Seven liter consumption until now. Yeah, it's okay. The way we drive with acceleration, brakes, raining. Now, yeah, let's go back to Eco mode. I want to go to see how is the transmission in Eco mode, how it's changing the gears when you try to drive more sportier. So I, I like the fact that you really feel the difference. Every time you change the different driving modes, you really feel the difference, how the, the car react and the transmission and the acceleration react, you know? 
this is this is really important from my point of view so you see now acceleration pedal much more smoother much more slower stays pretty good on the road I really I can say I really like the car even in the dark here you can see a little bit the ambient light the way it looks inside the cabin quite rainy outside today actually the last two weeks was raining around here almost every day so it's kind of hard to do some test drives and reviews with a lot of rain but we still managed to do it so it's fine From here you can change also the temperature, you can choose whatever temperature you have what you want to have inside the car. And AC and I like the fact that it still have the physical button and you can go easy through different menus also here. It's quite nice uh, array here the screen. I wish although you know the screen is a little bit higher so if you have position your seats higher will be just perfect but I wish somehow to be tilted to the driver and maybe a little bit more straighter but other than that uh, everything else seems to be super fine and in the right position and we are almost done 6.8 liter consumption let's go left here you see over the bumps is doing fine it's doing really really fine so great job great great job the car is good it's but the thing the good thing is that it's better than i was expected actually and here if we park it again you can see the led lights outside you go in reverse super easy like that it has parking sensors it has everything you need so you can park the car perfectly in a place there so big mirrors easy to park a lot of parking sensors super nice so that was the video guys 6.8 liter was the consumption you can see right there in the front i think it's okay i mean we drive with heated seats climatic system on and off and some acceleration some driving in sport mode and you can see right now look the engine it's on but you barely feel any vibrations or sound inside it's a little bit more louder the rain than the engine and this is a good thing i mean from my point of view it's really really good if you stop the engine right now you will see a nice graphic that shows you how did you drive and it says like 7.5 liter consumption there 12 kilometer 22 i don't know why why it says 7.5 maybe that was the consumption maybe i look at the wrong uh, trip a maybe i reset the trip b i don't know no, trip two, it's like 24 liters. Strange, ah, yeah, because I stay in the same place and then the consumption is higher. Yeah, I understand now. Anyway, guys, that was the review. I hope you enjoyed the test drive, actually. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some useful information from here. If you still have questions, ask me down below whatever question you have about this new Opel Corsa. From my point of view, small changes, but small changes in a good way. And I think they kind of make a few improvements that definitely make the car much better it's great to be driving um, i like the sound insulation i like the suspension i like the fact that the steering it's a little bit more to the sporty side and the handlings uh, are pretty good and it stays good on the road it doesn't feel like a boat it's not super assisted some people may may love the fact that the car will be super assisted so you have to 
to drive it. I like the seats. The seats are super, super comfy. I really like the seats. I will show you more about those seats in the review video. Other than that, ability is fine, excepting the fact that you have kind of a blind spot in this area here. So keep in mind a little bit of blind spot there, but otherwise, the car is great visibility is great the driving feeling it's great it's pleasant it's easy to drive and for the price that they offer this corsa i think it's a good deal so definitely check out the car because it has some features and some elements that make the car feel like a premium car and that's something that i like very much i mean in this price you have some premium things that make a lot of sense so guys that was the video if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out gallica garage i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around here check them out they already have a discount if i remember well around 2000 francs so pretty good price anyway go test it go see the car if you like it go for it uh, because i think it's it's a pretty good car and also the fact that they share all the elements with stellantis peugeot and all that fiat and all that um, other car brands it's pretty pretty good i should say because it bring a lot of share a lot of technology and experience so that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe if you want to see the full review with the same car i have a separate video on my channel so check it out if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out thank you very much to all of you that watching my videos if you find it useful don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one Bye, guys.